AutoCAD makes it possible for you to start drafting the same drawing in different ways. For this reason, before beginning, you need to define the design intent. You will learn two different ways to sketch a screw in this practical example. Also, you will study ways to facilitate your editing, applied to geometric and dimensional constraints. Take a look at this. The first way to sketch a screw is by sketching half of the object. Then, using the mirror tool, you can sketch the other half of the geometry. This way, you can draw it more quickly. Another way to design this is by sketching the entire geometry. This type of sketching does not require making calculations to define geometric measurements. However, it takes longer to draw the entire geometry. See this. After defining the best way to sketch your part drawing, you can define layers applied to entities which are part of the geometry. In this case, you define the layers as outline, center and fillet. Using layers is extremely important to facilitate future viewing and identification of a specific place or element in the drawing. This layer creation process can be automated by using the Action Recorder command. This command is recommended for automating layer creation, which is a common practice in drawings, for example for center and outline layers. The next step is adding geometric and dimensional constraints, which influence how drawing editing elements behave. Dimensional constraints, based on geometries, provide a great deal of automation for dimensioning and editing your screw drawing. In this case, you can relate the screw shank to the head diameter. Take a look at this too. You can relate the thread height to the screw diameter. This way you can save time in resizing one of these elements. Then it is not necessary to resketch the entire geometry to obtain new dimensions for the screw. So in this example you have studied how to define the screw design based on the design intent and also on existing procedures for drawings in AutoCAD. These procedures can streamline your design creation or editing to benefit your design process according to your needs.